We're looking at the relationship between multiplication and division. Let's first remember the relationship between addition and subtraction. When we know that 2 plus 3 equals 5, we also know that 5 minus 3 equals 2 and 5 minus 2 equals 3. That's because addition and subtraction are opposite operations, or sometimes called inverse operations. Multiplication and division have a similar relationship, an opposite relationship. Here I have an array of 12 cupcakes. I can look at this as four groups of three, like I have in this first image, or I can look at this as three groups of four like the second image. When I separate into equal groups, that's when we use division. Four groups of three is four times three. Three groups of four, three times four. Both of them equal 12. So let's think about the multiplication and the division. If I know that four times three equals 12, I automatically know two division facts. I know that 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and I know that 12 divided by 3 equals 4. I can apply this to any multiplication sentence. I'm going to give you the multiplication sentence 13 times 14 equals 182. So if I ask what is 182 divided by 13, we automatically know that that's 14. What's the other statement we know? 182 divided by 14 equals 13.